And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For some more Vladimir Braum, we got another donation deck to try. A little bit different version than what we played a few days ago. Um, but, you know, the same kind of stuff. We're going to be having our, our Crimson units. We're going to be playing the new uh, Landmark, which is looking good. The Scar Grounds, the three mana Landmark. And that in particular is perfect with Ember Maiden, of course. That's going to be a big combo in our deck. We're going to have a little bit more Overwhelm in here, though. We got three Mites, and I, I like that. I think that Overwhelm's important. We got three Mites. We have two Scar Mother Verena. Uh, that can finish games out. And we got a Captain Farron at the top end. So I'm excited about those. We also have this new Noxus card that I haven't played before. Survivor, survival Skills. Five mana, slow speed. Allies can't drop below one health this round. And when discarded, your strongest ally can't drop below one health this round. Now, we don't we don't have any ways to discard it. So that part we won't, won't really need. But it is five mana, slow. Um, make sure that none of our allies can die. So that lets us um, attack in with a Vladimir and... Uh, you know, be able to do damage to all of our stuff and we can make it a really nice attack and we don't have to worry about our things dying. Or we can use it on defense, right? Like if our opponent plays um, something that, that makes their attacks really good, we can use the survivor survival skills on defense and make sure that none of our allies can die that round. Uh, but yeah, so that's so that's what we're going to try. We're, we have Omen Hawks in here to buff up our units. Um... And everything like that. Let's let's see how this does. Let's play some Vladimir Brom. Oh. oh, I'm not sure, Kurtash. Tom Kench Soraka. New hand. Okay, better hand. We got Ember Maiden Scar Grounds combo. So we want you want Scar Grounds in in play first. We're probably gonna go like Crimson Disciple on two, Scar Grounds on three. It's a big responsibility to Shepherd Stone. Ember Maiden on four. Here, pup. Pup, Bobby. Oh, you big. We also have Braum we can play on four. You like Tarkaz in this deck? Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about this the last time that we played Vladimir Braum at the end of the video is that basically there are there are enough good cards to make like three different Vladimir Braum decks. It's it's incredible how many like good cards there are. Um, and so but not not necessarily perfect cards, you know, but but good cards. And so finding like the right mixture of all of the different cards, of like, you know, exactly what to play is is the thing that's pretty difficult. Finding the right 40 for the deck list. Can I pass and they play Soraka? I love a taste of the action. Where does your path lead, Ely? Wherever it goes, I hope it brings me back to you. Alright, so the good news is we get to kill this Boxtopus, because that card's really annoying. The bad news is obviously dealing one damage to their stuff for them to heal with the Soraka isn't ideal. Gonna try to kill the Soraka. Bad. I'll try anyone. Alright, survivor. Survival skills. You know, I wish I could play, you know, we could play Braum and Challenge, but, you know, I wish we could have, like, the Scar Grounds and play and, and Braum. I wish we could play both. Uh, if you could use the, if you could use Spell Mana on the Scar Grounds, you know, I would not have played the Crimson Disciple last turn if that was the case, but not the case. Do I want a Demolitionist and give the Crimson Disciple more power? Or next turn, go Braum into Demolitionist and have Braum, you know, deal damage to that, make Braum tough, get the Mighty Poro. I kind of feel like that's better. Be at peace. 
Then again, I would have played the 2 3, then my Crimson Disciple would have blocked the Star Shepherd a little bit better. We can certainly assume they're going to use some kind of spell here. Otherwise, they just would not have attacked. Live with purpose. Yeah, nickname. It's always what what slot do you want? You, what what slot do you want? I'll I'll put it in that slot. Let us get going. I will find uh. the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Make the Empire proud. We don't have calling strikes in our deck, do we? No, nope, no calling strikes. I need that for this matchup. So I want to play the Vladimir. Who's for supper? Why you are. Sanguine companion. Hmm. Well, that's not so great. The star shot. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Finn. Okay, one game. Uh didn't go too well for us. First game. This Soraka Brahm, or, or sorry, Soraka Tom, um, is really, really good against other just you know like generic units, and that's kind of what we're playing. And and their deck is is Take heart. it's great in this matchup. With purpose. This, these are the kind of decks that their deck feasts on. Appetizers of Trinity. Come on in. We were just locked up. We didn't have any outs. Yeah, Errol the Tracker. Okay, yeah, he said so good with Tarek Riven. I think it, it depends on how you build your deck. Uh, I, I do like Errol the Tracker a lot. I think that Errol the Tracker is, is a really good card, but it's... Um, like, we played Tarek... Riven Tarek, we played that yesterday, but the build that I was playing was a more aggressive deck and wasn't a wasn't a Errol the Tracker deck. But you can make it more mid range and and build around Errol, and um, and then yeah, I, I do like that card. Draven Jinx, do we have time for the Scar Grounds? I think so. I think we could just keep the Scar Grounds. I think we should. Yeah, Victor Swain just it had uh, good interaction. Uh, we had we had a lot of good like removal and interaction with that deck, and then our, our champions kind of sat in play and took over the game while our removal spells stopped our opponent's champions and stopped our opponent you know like the threats that mattered from our opponent. So that that's why that deck did so well today. Yeah, go ahead, Mukton. Well, I want to play Crimson Curator here, but now I kind of feel like I should play the Demolitionist as the 3-4. I know I have the Troll Chant, but still... No, we'll, we'll go Curator. I need the reputation. Yeah, out of play. Fine. Fine. All right, got another curator. Now the problem is I can't unload my hand fast enough. There's too many cards that I want to play. I serve for decades, and you call on me now. Yep, pretty much. Better. Got an 
axe with your name on it. Yeah, then they can use Whirling Death or get excited. Are they just gonna discard all these spinning axes? Oh, are they gonna discard three and then Whirling Death? That would be trouble for me. It does get, you know, gets rid of a lot of cards in hand, but they get the leveled up Draven. Okay, no, they're just trading. That's, I mean, that's just fantastic for me. Why would they not just... I don't know, they could have just... So they discarded Get Excited, Crowd Favorite, and Crowd Favorite. They could have just cast the Get Excited. And then just kept the two... They could just keep two Crowd Favorites and two Spinning Axes. In hand, I mean all three Spinning Axes. Alright, gonna get the Scar Grounds in play. playing Ember Maiden this turn. Is that survivors? Survival skills? I think that was. So their units can't go below one health this turn? Yes. Okay, so no attacking. No attacking necessary. No! Or Ember Maiden. <laughs> this is awesome. I guess I try Fury of the North with eight health. The people are my strength. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. Did it here because it's it's easier for seven tough. I mean, you know, seven tough doesn't die to Mystic Shot. Only saving three health. They had Get Excited? Oh, come on. That was the one card. They had already used, they already used to Get Excited. They already discarded to Get Excited. So many okay, actually, okay, so one of them was, I guess the, the Ember Maiden one was Jinx's Get Excited. Man. The young fight for glory, I fought for legacy. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Man, Jinx is good. Well, that kind of helps me out. It gives all these tough. Gives them plus one, plus zero. I also create another unit. That's a good unit to create. It's nothing personal. Let's get this over with. Uh, does he do this? One of us dies. All right, probably should not attack with you, demolitionist. Okay, that was a bad demolitionist attack. I was hoping they'd be scared and not block. Like next turn, you know, like Crimson Awakener might might could give us a real shot. Twice your size. Let's be down to six. Sure, waste my time. I have the best job. We'll go 
down to two. Obviously, you know, like they, you know, could find an, a Mystic Shot or another Get Excited to kill us. But this isn't over. We have a shot. All right, pass turn. Pass turn to us or play a unit. Okay, there we go. Play a unit. We just need them to draw like two units. No spells, please. We get two new draws. I had to cast Might to begin with. I realized that like if they just didn't block, they they just go to one, and that would have been bad for me. I need to play Might before blocks. Let's keep that from happening. Yeah, or, or just attack with both units. Alright, so ours is a little bit more defensive. Theirs is more aggressive. They're going to be an Overwhelm version of Freljord and Noxus with some super big threats. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for the Scar Grounds. Yeah, I don't know if we just have time for the Scar Grounds. This is doesn't look great. Okay, I like that card. Uh, kept Fury of the North because that can help us help match our smaller units to their big unit. Alright, got another donation deck. Dark Dragoon. Uh, I will pass turn. I know I control chant first. Make the Empire proud. Eh. I'd rather save troll chant. Your path ends here. Those little things just aren't valuable enough. I hope to build this empire. Fuse is lit! I'm fighting to do. We gotta attack, you know, if they if they block, that's basically like me being able to block one of those things on the way back. So that, that's good for me. And then we'll have... And this is where we could be using a troll chant or something like that. Who's gonna get in my way? Is this the death you imagined? Oh, they they have the... Okay, good. I'm going to say they have Decisive Maneuver, which would have just killed me with that block. Hello, my darling. We're, we're already pretty, pretty dead to both these champions. Hoping they don't have either champion. Two for Vladimir. Scar Mother. So Scar Mother would be a 7-8. Seven, or 7-7. Seven, seven. It's either like Scar Mother or I could play Crimson Disciple plus Survival Skills. So I can attack in and they can't kill my things. That's what I'm kind of thinking of going Disciple, Survival. Yeah, I think I'd do that. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. Because it's not like the Scar Mother is going to be lethal anyway, and they would be able to have just like good blocks. I don't want to give them good blocks. So we're going to try, first time, we're going to try this Survival Skills card. Alright, can't drop below one health. Oh, don't have removal. Okay, 
well. I have my orders. Let's see what they are. I guess that's just game for them going wide. Wish I would have just played Ember Maiden to kill all these things, but of course they could have just had the Death Sand on the Ember Maiden. Got them down to eight, though. It's kind of close. GG's. But you can definitely see I did not have time to play the Scar Grounds, so I'm glad I mulliganed that. Prediction has started. Zoe Vi. Good to see keeping Captain Farron. Pesky, the the Spooky Plaza deck I've just played earlier had Pesky Spectre in it. it. Had three Pesky Spectres and they were very good. And in, and that deck was really good too. Uh, I went three and two, but I had one one win that if I would have had if I would have open attacked, I would have won. Um, but I didn't open attack, and I ended up losing. It was a it was a tough call whether or not to open attack. So could have been would have been a four one if I would have. So obviously we would prefer to wait on Demolitionist with this, but curve considerations, we need to just get it out of our hand and get it in play. We already got the damage going. Yeah, that Spooky Plaza deck felt really, really good. And so you want Pesky Spectre, that, that's a good one. The name. I need the reputation. Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. System upgrade. Man, the dogs are so loud when they start barking. Let's go with. I guess I'm supposed to play Ember Maiden. Clear it out. <laughs> the dogs wanted to commentate. Yeah, no, it's some somebody just you know just walking by on the street, walking their dog, you know, and so they see a dog walk walking by and start going crazy. So ordinary. Really, really, really hope they don't have Mystic Shot. Really hope this works. They can even try to look for the Equinox from the super cool star chart. Mm, they'd get excited. That's too bad. If I would have if I would have waited a turn, you know, played like Braum or something, waited a turn, then I would have had the Fury of the North to protect. So maybe I should have just done that. I wanted to try to kill Zoe before they attacked here this turn, but maybe I should have just played my brawl and waited a turn. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Strength through suffering. So that's going to be three out of five for Vladimir. Okay, Awakener levels up Vladimir. It's kind of awkward that everything costing four. Okay, perfect. Two mana card to go with all of our everything costing fours. Let's do that. Let's level up Vladimir. Because level up Vladimir is going to drain. Gotta keep the pressure on. Ooh, you're interesting. So I use Troll Chant now. We save our Curator. 
and draw a new card. Hmm. There's fashionably late, and then there's. I guess I need to actually protect my Vladimir from this battle star. I guess we're supposed to do that. And I don't really mind trade, you know, I, I just had two of my units die, but I, I don't really mind because they're kind of not like the best necessarily with the Vladimir and we have to get rid of their blockers anyway. So now they don't have like that little 1-1 one -one that's really good at blocking my Vladimir. Zoe's good. Zoe's a really good champion. Just a one mana card. Does so much. I think people are still underrating Zoe. So that's going to be leveled up Zoe. So all they need to do is level up Zoe, play an elusive, give this thing elusive, and that's probably lethal. So like basically the problem with our deck is it just doesn't our deck doesn't have good interaction and that's that's the problem with this Vladimir Brom. Um like that's that's the problem with our list. That's why we're we're losing these games. We just we just don't have interaction. We have like the Ember Maiden and they kill our Ember Maiden and then it's what do we do? That's you know, that's why our Victor Swain went 5 0, it had great interaction. But we're struggling here with no interaction. Mm. That's puts me to two. Safety It's not like I have a lethal attack. Oh, that's that's really cool, Taxi Man. So yeah, so this is how you heard of the game is because Zoe coming over. Awesome. Yeah, glad to too. That's it's a really good game. I mean, I don't really have any other options besides attack out, but also attack out we don't win. So what else, what else we got? We got yeah, because if I if I attack out we lose. So I guess I play Legion Veteran. I help build this empire. Youth and wisdom, a pity they can only choose one. Because these are, are slow speed, because obviously if they have any kind of fast speed damage, I de I'm dead anyway. And I'm, I'm dead if I can't kill them this attack. Yep, so that was smart. All right, so we're hoping we we can drain five. I guess maybe we could win this. No, oh, no. Yeah, get excited anyway. That was the card they just drew. Just drew it for turn. That's too bad. We were gonna be able to do do lethal to them. With that Fury of the North. Not every deck, whenever, you know, whenever you're gonna have donation decks at the very beginning of the format, not everything is going to be real good. And that's that's okay. And that's what we're that's what we're learning. 
Let's keep the Omen Hawk. I know the Ember Maiden is like the, the combo with the Scar Grounds, but I'm not I'm not really expecting Ember Maiden to kill like a whole lot of things in my opponent's deck. It'll kill my Omen Hawk. But it's also for three mana, it has two health, and so it's you know weak to, to Mystic Shot and everything. I want to find just like some beefier stuff, so I like these kind of cards a little more. And this curve is looking good. Witness perfection, meatbags. Yeah, Ballistic Bot is going to be... This is going to be a you know big-time player in, in this metagame. really seems like this card's awesome. Simply awesome. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Either keep pressure in with Curator into Braum, or we go Scar Scargrounds into Braum. I don't want to just go Scargrounds into Braum. Scargrounds will allow us to play a little bit longer game. How can Braum help? Please don't kill the Braum this turn. No. I love a taste of the action. Man, that's too bad. Well, we got a new Brom. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. I guess they can't kill the Brom this turn anyway. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. I want to play this Legion veteran first. So it's basically, you know, like, do I want to, like, lead with Braum and then go open attack? And I think that answer is no. Ooh, Scar Mother. I guess I don't have any real way to do damage to you, Scar Mother. Let's, let's go and play the Braum. Have the troll chant. Never mind. Can you improve perfection? How are we going to deal damage to our own stuff if they're not going to block? Wow. They are all about the Nexus healing. The Winter's Claw will purge the weak. So they've already healed their Nexus for 9. They're about to heal their, ex their Nexus for another 3 with this Broadback Protector. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Yeah, I do like Crimson Awakener a lot. I have always been a, a fan of Crimson Awakener. And yeah, what would be better than Legion Veteran in, in this kind of case? Yeah, especially with the Scar Grounds, I agree. That that's true. With with Scar Grounds, Awakener does seem even better. So yeah, I think that would make sense to have, to play Awakener instead of Veteran in the four mana slot. Join me if you want to live. You do want to attack with the Legion Veteran last, so that like if they block any of these things, they survive damage and get the plus one plus zero from the Legion Veteran. Yeah, I had. Yeah, it, it does just have great synergy everywhere. Basically, besides Omen Hawk. Ooh, you're interesting. So now I could use the Might to try to kill the Resplendent Selkorn, but that thing's just a 4-3. I don't think that's worth using a Might. I think Might is too valuable. Gosh. I'm just going to heal their Nexus forever. They've, they've healed their Nexus for 18 now. I've done, I've done 20 damage to them, but they're still at 18. 
they've healed their Nexus that much. I wouldn't mind replacing, you know, Omen Hawk with Curator, but I think I can also just simply wait, because maybe we find something else that's better t to play to replace that with, you know, like if we draw like an Omen Hawk, right? Like I don't, I don't, or sorry, like a Vladimir. Like I don't want to replace the Omen Hawk with Curator and then draw Vladimir and then have to re replace something else with Vladimir. Or something like that. The heavens diminish without my attention. I mean, it's basically like, what else we're going to do? You know, it's not like this is the best attack in the world, but, you know, what else we're going to do? The only thing our deck can do is attack, so might as well attack. You must be very important. See what happens. So I can do 16, 19. They didn't block the Scar Mother. Can we get that 18 damage in? Come on, 18 damage. They're sitting there like they have some kind of spell. Basically, any spell stops us. Just let it happen. That's great. Well, I tried. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Can you improve perfection? Now they heal their nexus for eighteen in this game. One girl wrecking crew. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Justice first hand. Eat this. Like a game, you know, like they had they, both times I play Braum, they played Thermogenic Beam immediately. They had both of those. They had the Hush to stay alive. Um, you know, the double Resplendent Bellicorn. GG's. Okay, so trying, you know, trying new cards and trying new lists and everything at the beginning of the format, you know, these donation decks are not, they're not always going to work. And we saw that with, you know, two of our decks today didn't really work and, and that's okay. I think the, basically the main thing here is that this deck just doesn't have good interaction for the opponent. And that's, that's what we really saw. Like we, we, we couldn't, we weren't powerful enough to win games with you know like attacking wise while we do had a little bit of overwhelm with like might and scar mother it was a little bit but not nearly enough so we weren't powerful enough to like get through blockers i guess that's what i mean um and finish games through blockers and we didn't have any removal you know we have like what like a, a scorched earth and that's just not going to cut it um survival survival skills really didn't look good um i think i think this card can be good with uh with discard you know like in draven decks with spinning axes and and things like that um i think you can uh do some good stuff with survival skills there but hard casting it for five mana i i just feel like i would much rather be spending an extra two mana if we want some kind of spell like that instead of just saying okay our, our allies can't die spend an extra two mana give them plus two plus two overwhelm kill your opponent i think we'd rather have something like that but that's the thing in this kind of deck like we don't there's no card draw and no removal and so we just hope that we our our units kill our opponents and the thing is is decks are really good decks don't usually just die to crimson disciple crimson curator ember maiden brahm legion veteran right like these these cards don't just kill opponents you got to have got to have card draw or or more um, ways to get more damage in with overwhelms and things like that um but with the scar grounds we talked about, we need we need more ways to get our allies to survive damage. That's another thing. Is this this deck didn't have enough ways. We had Ember Maiden, but every time we played an Ember Maiden, our, our opponents killed it because it is pretty vulnerable to removal. So I think that something like this, I, I think you do want um, like Crimson Awakener give you more Ember Maidens, be able to deal damage to your allies, 
get them to survive damage, get them the pluses, get them all the bonuses everywhere, level up your Vladimir. Um, you know, like we just didn't have ways for that. So I think Crimson Awakener is important. I think Transfusion is very important. Uh, I think that this kind of deck, you got to play three Transfusions, to be honest. Like, again, another way to get, get your allies to survive damage and then also be a, a pump spell to uh, help other things survive damage. Like, I, I, I'd rather have Transfusion than Troll Chant, for example, um, or, you know, maybe both, but I think Transfusion is vital. So, you know, still learning and still finding out uh, some stuff like that, but um, there we go. So hopefully, uh, hopefully um, everybody at home learned some stuff here with the Vladimir Brahm, um, but uh, there we go. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. If you've been if you've been playing your own Vladimir Brom list that's been working a lot better, uh, you know, let me know. Like, what what kind of interaction were you playing uh, that's been helping out? What kind of finishers have you been playing? Because that's that's what this deck was missing. It was missing interaction and finishers. Like, what so um, what do you have uh, in that respect? But anyway, that's it here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.